Oh my gosh, should I stay? Should I just wait till in the morning? Man, I have been waiting for this moment for like two weeks. I'm really excited. It's finally here. God, this is such a hard decision. Hmm, if I go out tonight, there's gonna be a bunch of anglers out there. I could wait for in the morning and fish my favorite spot. Oh, I can just be guaranteed there'd be nobody there. Two hours away and I can't decide whether I'm gonna go out tonight or I'm gonna go in the morning. Red, really, really. Should I go snook fishing tonight or wait? Mm, you don't really care, do you? Just as long as I come home smelling like a fish. Who are you trying to kid, man? Of course you're going fishing tonight. Fishing poles, check. Favorite snook fishing lures, check. GoPro gear, check. Headlamps, check. Thursday, 9.55 p.m., August 31st. Snook season is almost two hours away. There it is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so this is probably not what you were expecting after that amazing introduction that I just gave. I wanna kinda of set the scene for what happened here. I went down to the spot that I wanted to fish and of course there was somebody already there. It was like 11.30 snook season opens at 12 o'clock midnight, right? So I left that spot and I went over to a place that I found the other night um, that I had never fished before and I hooked up with two snook that were pretty good size but I didn't actually catch them. I went there and nobody was fishing in that particular spot. There were three guys that were fishing down the way from where I was at. So I set up in this spot and what it is, it, it's a bridge, but there's a light that casts out in the, the water a little bit. It's pretty bright right there. And uh, so anyway, and there's a bunch of rocks like right in front of me and the lights out about 30, 40 feet from where I'm fishing at. And uh, you're not gonna be able to see it in this footage. And uh, I apologize for that. I am I'm working on getting better at doing solo filming with my GoPro at night. It's just going to take some work because snook fishing, I don't want to have too much light because a lot of times the snook, they'll hit it like right, they'll follow that lure like all the way up right to where I'm at. So I don't want to have a lot of bright lights, you know, that would scare them away. Um, so anyway, it's kind of dark, but um, I got hooked up with an amazing fish tonight. And uh, so I'm going to show you that a little bit of that footage right now. And uh, like I said, I apologize. It's dark, but you'll actually hear the snook just rip and drag and you'll hear him jumping and thrashing. It's a really exciting time for me. And uh, make sure you stick around after you watch this clip because I'm going to show you what I caught that snook on and explain to you how I was actually fishing that bait. So let's take a look at that clip. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Woo, baby. Yeah. Come on. Ah, good fish. Yeah. Ah. Nice. Very nice. Slot size, 28 to 33. Found some light where I could hold this guy up and get a good look at him. Ha ha, opening night of snook season. Nice fish. All right guys, so this is a low light filming night, but uh, snook season opened at 12 o'clock. I started casting right around 12. I hooked into one and lost him. I am on my way home with a 33 inch snook. And then it's now 1242. Okay, so here's the really funny thing about this entire night. Okay, about two nights ago, I went fishing out on the bridge and there were some guys that were using jigs and uh, they said that they had been catching snook on jigs and I had never in my life fished with a, a jig for snook. I've always used live bait or, um, you know, the, the rubber looking like this, the swim baits, but I've never actually used like a feather jig for snook. 
So I went to Walmart yesterday and I started looking around at tackle and I actually found uh, a couple different jigs that had the long tail like these guys were fishing with and I thought well you know what I'll just pick some up and, and I'll give them a try sometime. So uh, this is what I was throwing tonight when I caught that snook and before I actually caught him um, I hooked another one prior to it and what happened is there was so much seaweed in the water tonight that I couldn't I couldn't cast uh, where is it I couldn't cast my favorite yeah there you go I got several of them my pray my favorite broken back rebel lure I couldn't cast that because there was so much seaweed so I switched over to the jig and uh, you know I started bouncing this thing on the bottom at first and nothing was happening and then I kind of went back to my normal tactics of fishing lures for snook and I've always fished them this way and that is fish the lure really really fast in hopes that you get a reaction strike and you know it was like about the second cast that I took with this thing I threw it out there and I just started reeling it and jerking it as fast as I could and I pulled that thing through the light and man a snook just shot out of the shadows and nailed that thing and uh, I hooked him had him on for about five seconds and lost him and so then uh, uh, you know about 15 casts later I hooked up with that big snook that uh, you just saw in that footage and uh and of course the rest is history i actually caught him but i got this from walmart and it's called a, a tsunami jig and uh, you know they're made in china and it doesn't even have the ounce weight anywhere on the package and uh, or on the jig I have no idea what the ounce of this this jig is but uh, that's the one that i actually caught it on uh, red and white with a red tail and uh, i was not being uh, careful jigging this thing at all I mean I was reeling my reel as fast as I could and jerking that thing and uh, I got the reaction bite twice from the snook tonight so um, well I am definitely gonna be a jig man now there's no doubt about that add another method to my uh, my snook fishing can't believe I forgot to weigh this guy he's uh Let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, ah, he's right at 11 and, about 11 and a half pounds. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, that ends another fun day of fishing. Please like this video and subscribe. And remember, don't just sit there, get off that couch and go fishing. See ya!